Good morning, everyone in YouTube land. Once again, good morning, good afternoon, good night. Did I say good morning? Well, anyways. Um, so, we have a couple of things today that we're going to look at. First is, won't you be my neighbor? Uh, pick about Mr. Rogers. Um, I heard there were a couple of these coming, so, and when I heard British description was intriguing. So, you know, of course, I grew up, you know, watching. Mr. Rogers, among many things, Sesame Street, but the land of make believe. Won't you be my neighbor? So let's go ahead and check this out. A television program for children made its unauspicious debut on station WQED in Pittsburgh. Its host, Fred Rogers. Mr. Rogers? Yeah. I want to tell you something. What would you like to tell I like you. I like you, my dear. Thank you very much for telling me that. You take all of the elements that make good television and do the exact opposite. You have Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Low production values, simple set, unlikely star. Yet, it worked. Hello. I've always felt that I didn't need to put on a funny hat or jump through the hoop to have a relationship with a child. He was always trying to get a message across in every show. A week on death. What does assassination mean? A divorce. Some people get married, and after a while, they're so unhappy that they don't want to be married anymore. He was radical. I know everyone says that, but he was radical. They didn't want black people to come and swim in their swimming pools. My being on the program was a statement for Fred. A neighborhood was a place where, at times, that you felt worried, scared, unsafe, would take care of you. He had a singular vision of kindness and love. Love is at the root of everything. All learning, all relationships, love or the lack of it. Children have very deep feelings, just the way everybody does. There must be times when you do feel blue. I'm not feeling blue right now, though. Me neither. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? Well, I suppose it's an invitation. It's an invitation for somebody to be close to you. The greatest thing that we can do is to help somebody know that they're loved and capable of loving. Won't you please, won't you please Please won't you be my neighbor. Well, that looks <laughs> that, that looks great. Um, I said I, I love a good biopic, um, you know, especially I mean, a great subject. And you know, when I heard about this. You know, Mr. Rogers is one of those characters, one of those personalities that, again, as I said, it, the, uh, I mean, even I grew up, I mean, I'm a black kid that, you know, I grew up on my own military bases and whatnot, but I remember watching, you know, at some point or another, Mr. Rogers, and again, again going to the land of Maple Leaf with King Friday, and, you know, I know Mr. Rogers, you know, people poke fun at, at it a lot. I know I've probably made some jokes and everything here and there, but still you can't deny the effect that someone like Mr. Rogers has had on so many children and people, you know, growing up. And this it looks like something I would definitely want to see. You know, again, not, of course, not blockbuster fare, not, you know, adventure thing, but something that's very poignant and, you know, again, tells about the life of someone who's meant a lot to a lot of people, you know. So, yeah, I, 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 I definitely want to check this out. Um, as it, you know, I saw, you know, things about Sundance and, you know, other film festivals. Um, again, I don't think it's something that would end up seeing in the theater, but, you know, once it's on streaming or, or, or where not, or a video or whatever, that it's something I think I definitely would want to check out. Anyways, um, that is my reaction to Won't You Be My Neighbor? And, um, 
you know, let me th- let me know what you think about this movie um, or this documentary. Um, any personal thoughts you may have had? Uh, I mean, if you watched Mr. Rogers growing up, or um, just any commentary. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Feel free to share, subscribe, like, hopefully, rather than dislike. Those dislikes aren't good. Um, and yeah, peace.